Hello everyone, my name is Umair Kudus. I am from Data Science Research Group, University of Paderborn. Now I am going to present our work, a hybrid fact-checking approach for knowledge graph. We call it Hybrid FC. As we all know, with the increasing size of the data on the web, the need for automatic fact-checking approaches is also increasing. Coming towards the motivation of our work, uh, as we see a lot of misinformation on the web, particularly on social media, news pages or Wikipedia, some examples from the Wikipedia are shown on the slide. For example, uh, one example is David Beckham was a Chinese goalkeeper in 18th century. This information is, uh, all these informations are funny as well as false. Now the problem is numerous knowledge graphs are being created by crawling information from the web, in particular DBpedia which is created from the info boxes of the Wikipedia pages. According to the stated surveys, the 3.6 version of the DBpedia is 80% correct and having 20% wrong information is still a big problem of for these knowledge graphs. <coughs> as they are being used as a background knowledge in a growing number of applications including healthcare, autonomous chatbots and in-flight applications. And this figure is actually unknown for a number of enterprise knowledge graphs. Now coming towards the problem statement of our work, we have a given knowledge graph G and assertion T which contains subject predicate and object entities um, resources. We compute the likelihood of the assertion being true or false. An example of assertion is shown in the figure which is Barack Obama birthplace is Hawaii. There are multiple families of approaches have been proposed in the literature so far in order to address this problem. The first family of approach which is text-based approaches. These text-based approaches search for evidence in a large text corpus, for example Wikipedia, Google or Bing search APIs. Uh, first they convert the assertion in the form of a sentence and then send the sentence to as a query to the text corpus and get the pieces of evidence as a result. And then score evidences based on uh, some features. These features are predefined by the domain experts. An example of predefined feature is measuring the distance between subject and object entity in the retrieved document from the text corpus. If the distance is greater than the threshold value, then the assertion is false, otherwise true. The second family of approaches, which is graph-based approaches, in these approaches, they search for correlated path in the knowledge graph itself, G. Uh, and then score the evidence based on the paths between subject and object entities in the background knowledge graph. The third family of approaches is uh, the embedding based approaches. They represent the whole knowledge graph in the form of a high dimensional vector space. Then they apply a predicate vector on the subject vector and if the resultant vector is uh, close to the object vector then that means the assertion is true otherwise false. There are multiple variants of these embedding based approaches that have been proposed so far. Now uh, I will talk about the limitations of these families of approaches and then I will discuss about our hybrid solution that we propose and then uh, I will talk about the experiments and results and I will conclude my talk at the end. Coming towards the limitation of these text-based approaches, text-based approaches limitation is manual feature engineering. Now uh, we need a domain expert to predefine uh, all these features in order to perform the fact-checking task. And as these predefined features are not generic enough to cover all the assertions in the complete knowledge graph, there are uh, therefore uh, there are still possibilities of false positives. The second family of approaches, which is graph-based approaches. Uh, relies on knowledge graph itself as a background knowledge so if the path between the subject and the object entity is missing in the knowledge graph then they predict the correct assertion as wrong similarly as I stated earlier that knowledge graph could also contain wrong assertions or misinformation the third family of approach which is a KGM banding based approach suffers from low accuracy scores when dealing with the task at hand now I will show you an example from the real data set that is FactMensch when used by these families of approaches they make false positive predictions. In our example we can see that the correct assertion which is FactMensch data set Joni Quarrison death place is West Holland California which is uh, when this assertion is given as input to the text based solutions which is fact check it predicts it wrong however it is a correct assertion. On the other hand a path based approach Copal predicts it correct. There could be multiple rea reasons behind this behavior. One of the obvious reason is that the predefined features of the text-based approaches fail to cover the given assertion. And the path-based approaches is able to find the corroborative path between subject and object entity successfully. 
In the second example, path-based approaches which is COPAL fail to produce results. On the other hand, embedding-based approaches which is TRANS-C correctly classified the given assertion. This could be due to the fact that the COPAL failed to find the path between subject and object entity. So due to these limitations, existing families of approaches fail to classify all, all type of assertions uh, correctly. Hence, we propose a hybrid FC which alleviates these limitations by exploiting the principle of diversity and accuracy known for unsem from ensemble learning settings. Now, coming towards the architecture. Now, I will explain the architecture of our proposed approach. Uh, we call it hybrid FC. It consists of four components. The text-based component, KG embedding-based component and the neural network-based component. Uh, and path-based component, that is the third shown in the slide. First, I will explain the text-based component. Uh, it takes an assertion as input and searches it on the lo local reference corpus in order to retrieve the pieces of evidence for it. We use Wikipedia as a local reference corpus in our experiments. For some common assertion, the number of retrieved evidence sentences could be very large, for example, in hundreds or thousands, in order to filter the uh, and select the top case sentences we use a page rank score which are pre-computed for the whole reference corpus top k evidence sentences are then vectorized by using sbert transformer model this vector is then concatenated with the trustworthiness scores of these documents from which these evidence sentences are derived in the second component which is a kg based component uh, the input assertion is vectorized by using an existing pre-trained embedding model. The pre-trained embeddings of the subject, predicate and object resources are concatenated to form a single large vector at the end. In the third component, which is existing path-based approach, uh, in which in the third component we use an existing path-based approach and mm, get the veracity score of the input assertion. The output of these three components are the input of the fourth component, which is a neural network based component shown in the blue box at the bottom of the slide. The detailed architecture of this component is shown in the next slide. The neural network component uh, has, like uh, as I already said, has three inputs from the previously mentioned component. In the neural network component, uh, in the neural network component, the output of the text based component in the form of a sentence vector is fed as input to the first multilayer perceptron we call it theta1 similarly the output of the path based component which is the concatenated vector of spo is fed as input to the second multilayer perceptron we call it theta2 the output of the theta1 and theta2 and the output of the path based component are concatenated as and fed as input to the third multilayer perceptron we call it theta3 the sigmoid function is applied at the end to find the final veracity score between 0 and 1. The multilayer perceptron, which is theta i, like theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, consists of five layers, as shown in the figure on the right hand side. The mathematical equation for our neural network component is also shown at the bottom of the slide. Now I will talk about the experimental setups in detail uh, and mm, then results. We use two state-of-the-art fact-checking datasets, FactBench and birthplace deathplace dataset. These datasets are derived from DBpedia knowledge graph. They contain true as well as false assertions. False assertions are generated by different strategies such as replacing object entity of the correct assertion with the another entity in the domain of the predicate and similarly other strategies to generate uh, wrong assertions is in fact bench or range based or domain range based or mix or random or property based. We use the latest dump of English Wikipedia as our local reference corpus of text based component. We loaded the dump on Elasticsearch instance in order to find the evidence sentences for the given assertion. We also use the binary cross entropy loss function for training. We also use the pre-trained embeddings of five uh, different embedding models where the pre-trained DBpedia embeddings are available. The embedding models are TransC, Conex, QMOL, QM, uh, Complex and RDF2VEC. We use AUROC score for evaluation which is standard metric used in fact-checking literature. Now coming towards the results of our experiments, we compared hi our hybrid FC approach with individual categories of these uh, approaches and we use, uh, we can see from the table that uh, hybrid FC significantly outperform all these individual categories. In table T stands for text-based approaches uh, which is fact check, P stands for path-based approaches which is COPAL, R stands for rule-based approaches which is KV rule 
and kg emb stands for kg embedding based approaches the column represent the categories of the fact bench data set as i already stated we can further see from the like hybrid fc performs best when trans e pretrain embedding models are used as a kg embedding based component the result of rdf to vec is not available because most of the entities from the fact bench data set are missing in the pretrain embeddings of rdf to vec which could be due to their filtering filtering mechanism used in or different version of tvpedia used however the result of rdf to vec from the birthplace death place data set is available and can be seen in the paper Furthermore, train results and other results are on birthplace, deathplace data sets are available in paper. Now, as it is clear from the results that hybrid FC performs significantly better, one could be interested in looking at the contribution of each component behind this performance. Therefore, we also perform an ablation study uh, in our paper. In ablation study table, D stands for domain or for range and so on for other factors fact bench categories in rows tc stands for text based component vc stands for path based components and ec stands for embedding based components uh, to evaluate the contribution of the different component of hybrid uh, of hybrid fc to its performance we rerun our evaluation for each component tc pc e and ec individually and as a pairwise combination of different components for example tc plus pc tc plus ec pc plus ec the results suggest that TC performs better when compared with other components individually. Furthermore, TC plus EC yields better results on average as compared to other components. In table, underlined scores represent the second best scores in all results. Detailed experimental results and their analysis can be seen in the paper. Now concluding my talk, as I already discussed, like uh, existing f families the limitation of existing families of approaches such as manual feature engineering in text based approaches unavailability of paths in s between subject and object in path based approaches and poor performance in embedding based approaches we propose this hybrid fc which alleviates the problem of a single category of approaches by combining these three categories of approaches our experiment shows that hybrid fc is able to outperform competing approaches in majority of the cases and as a future work, uh, we will exploit uh, the modularity of hybrid FC by integrating other families of approaches, for example, rule-based approaches or other categories of approaches. Now, summarizing my whole talk, we propose hybrid FC, which exploits the diversity of existing families of fact-checking approaches within an ensemble learning settings. Uh, so that's it for my talk. If you have any questions, pl please feel free to ask. Thank you so much.